Peace says, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be sharing five ways to instantly become more attractive to men. Now, regardless of whether or not you think you are desirable to men or not, regardless of whether or not you think you have good looks or a nice body or whatever, any woman can instantly become more attractive or less attractive based on her mentality, her personality, her demeanor, her energy, and everything that makes up who she is outside of her physical appearance. So that is what this video is going to be about. Five feminine traits and feminine attributes that automatically make every woman more attractive regardless of what she looks like. So number one is being present by making eye contact and being attentive. This tells him that you are cherishing this moment. You respect and value his presence and his time and his energy and you are taking it all in by giving him your undivided attention. It is extremely unattractive when you're trying to talk to someone or when a man is trying to talk to you and you're all up in your phone you're like mm-hmm yep mm-hmm or you're focusing on what's going on over there or who is she looking at or what she got going on or whatever you are not able to really be present in the moment if you are not giving him your uninvited attention and making eye contact and really letting him know that you are there with him listening to what he's saying being present in the moment also involves sometimes doing more listening than speaking because if you're talking too much you're going to miss something this is your way of saying i care about what you have to say i am cherishing this moment with you i am enjoying being in your presence all of this is communicated simply by being present making eye contact and giving him your undivided attention when you don't give a man your undivided attention, not only does he feel disrespected, but sometimes he feels invisible. Like you really don't care that he's right there. You're really not paying him any attention. Obviously something else has your attention. Something else is more interesting to you. And it can be a huge turn off. It is very attractive when a man feels like you are interested in him and what he has to say. So make sure if you are interested in a man, you show him that by being attentive and present in the moment. Make sure you're making the eye contact. So when he's speaking to you, an example of what making eye contact and being present in the moment would look like, something like this. Number two is having that feminine, carefree energy. Now when I say carefree energy, that does not mean that you don't care about anything. That does not mean that you don't take anything seriously. All that means is that you bring that positive energy, those good vibes that are typically missing in most environments. Now, if you're the type of woman that feels like you have to be in control of everything, you probably don't have a carefree energy. Usually women that feels like they have to be in control of everything are often stressed because they're like, this needs to be done and that has to be done by this time and I gotta do this and he has to do this and I've got to do this and this needs to be done. And then you get upset when things aren't going your way or when things aren't going as planned and you just end up frustrated and you end up being a big ball of negative energy. You focus on everything that's going wrong. And before you know it, nobody wants to be around you. It's very annoying. It's very unattractive. So it's like a breath of fresh air when you are able to bring that positive energy into such a stressful, gloomy environment. And you're able to laugh and you're able to play and you're able to smile and lighten up the mood. And you're the one that just lets everyone that there's so much beauty in the world. Acknowledge the beauty around you. Acknowledge all the things that you have to be grateful for you know try to uplift someone else's spirits say something encouraging smile sing dance play have that type of energy when you focus on the good things you focus on the positive you focus on the beauty in the world you focus on all the things that there are to be grateful for you become so much more magnetic it is very gravitating and it is very attractive it's much more attractive than being in a bad mood being stressed out being negative all the time so again when you have that playful carefree energy and you're not being a control freak you're able to smile you're able to still have fun 
you're able to just enjoy life you make the environment so much better and you are so much more attractive not just to men everything is attracted to you and you're like that even money <laughs> so make sure you keep that positive mindset and that carefree energy number three is being the damsel in distress a lot of women underestimate the power of being the damsel in distress now this doesn't mean that you're a weakling this doesn't mean that you can't do things or you are incapable of doing things on your own it just means that you are allowing a man to do these things for you and this kind of communicates to him that he is needed and that you appreciate and you see value in his masculinity that you appreciate and you see value in his knowledge because being the damsel in distress does not always have to do with the physical it could have something to do with you just being teachable and allowing him to teach you something that he knows so now his knowledge comes in handy the things that he has learned he can now teach to someone else all of that is really just being receptive being receptive to a man's masculinity his energy his help his service, his knowledge, or whatever it is he's trying to give you, being receptive of that is very attractive. It is a turn off when women are constantly turning men down. Like, no, I don't need your help with this. No, I don't need your help with that. No, I can do this on my own. No, I got this on my own. No, I'm independent. I don't need you to teach me anything. I know it all. I don't need this. I don't need that. No, 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 no. It is a huge turn off. I don't care what you look like, it's a turn off. So, to be more attractive, again, the damsel in distress. Allow a man to do for you. And that way you can rest in your femininity and save that energy for something else. <laughs> but yeah, just be receptive. Being receptive is really what being the damsel in distress is. Being receptive to that masculine energy and allowing him to be of service to you in whichever way he chooses to be. You know, so that is very attractive when you basically are letting a man know that he is needed it is so attractive especially in a day and age where men feel like they aren't needed for anything number four is to socialize be sociable now of course men socialize but it is actually more of a feminine trait to be more sociable when you are sociable you really are just showing that you are confident and secure enough within yourself to engage in conversation with everybody else and to interact with other people especially with other women it can be a huge turn off to some men when a woman is constantly saying that she doesn't get along with other women and when she can't interact and hold conversations with other women without gossiping but she's always like oh I get along with men that can be a huge turn off and a huge red flag for a lot of men so stop saying that be secure and confident enough in yourself to know that you are interesting enough to hold a conversation and don't be so stiff show that you can have a good time laugh have a sense of humor no one is attracted to the woman that's sitting in the corner like this where everybody else is socializing and having fun let your guard down some open up to people it is especially unattractive when a man is trying to communicate with you through text or messages and you respond with brief or one word answers you know so he's like what you doing and you like nothing or how you doing and you like I'm good and like that's literally all you're saying that is very unattractive it makes him feel like he's an inconvenience to you like you're really not interested in him so make sure that you are turning things into a conversation be sociable and anything literally anything can turn into a conversation so even if you are doing nothing and he says what you doing if you are doing anything but laying down on the couch scrolling on social media and he asks you what you're doing then say that so yeah I'm just laying down I'm relaxing I'm on social media right now and then send him a screenshot of whatever post you just read or whichever meme you just saw that you thought was funny and then y'all can discuss whatever that post is or that meme is y'all can talk about that that can turn into a whole conversation you know if he asks you how you feel in a day if you feel bored then say you know I'm bored I kind of want to get out the house that can turn into a whole date you never know so be sociable converse don't just keep answering with one or two word answers it's very rude actually and it's extremely unattractive it is attractive when a man knows you can hold a conversation when he knows that you are interesting when he knows that you are confident enough to open up let your guard down and talk and number five is to be soft and i mean that in every sense of the word 
in your tone of voice, be soft. Don't be that woman that's loud and obnoxious that's yelling all the time. If you have to talk to someone and they're on the other side of the room, you make them come to you. You signal them to come to you some type of way. You don't yell across the room. When you're talking to a man, you don't need to scream at him. Not just in your tone of voice, but also when touching. Some women can be very aggressive to the touch. I know like sometimes when people laugh, you, you like to hit people or whatever, or you might be flirting with them and you might wanna like punch them or whatever you do. Whatever it is you're doing, do it soft. So if you touch people when you laugh, don't grab on people and uh, whatever that, don't, don't be so aggressive. Be soft, just touch, tap, you know, rub here. Just be gentle and soft in every sense of the word. Even when it comes to giving advice, you know what I mean? The hard way of giving advice is to be very assertive and just dictate things and tell people what to do. The softer way is to say, you know, may I offer a suggestion? So just be soft in every sense of the word. Be soft, allow him to be hard. Men are very attractive to women when they are soft. Men are not attracted to women that behave like men. And so these were the five tips. Hopefully you can incorporate these into your everyday life. One more time, it was be present have the carefree energy, be the damsel in distress, or just be receptive, be sociable, and be soft. Peace and much love.